One of the most important questions asked of those considering affiliation with the NALC is this. Where will future pastors come from and how will they be trained? How will they be prepared to preach and teach with confidence the truth of God's Word? How will they be equipped to boldly proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ? Where will they find orthodox teaching regarding the authority and interpretation of the Scripture? Where will they learn the value of our rich confessional heritage and integrate both biblical truth and confessional understanding into their preaching, teaching, and administering the sacraments? Where will they develop a devotional life rooted in the scriptures and prayer? Who will mentor them as disciples of Jesus, nurturing them in the faith until they are fully equipped to disciple others? If we don't, who will? Introducing the North American Lutheran Seminary. The NALC's Task Force on Theological Education has been hard at work developing a plan to address the need for a seminary. I believe God has worked through them to give us a solid plan for theological education for our future. Currently, our seminary students are at a variety of seminaries, but many of them are not Lutheran. Uh, some of them are. But the difficulty is in the consistency. So in order to ensure this, we need to establish our own seminary training program so that our students and indeed our congregations can be assured that when they call a pastor, they can then uh, feel uh, very confident that that pastor has had a very basic curriculum that is commensurate with our mission and values. The plan is summed up in one phrase, one seminary, one curriculum, one focus, many locations. Picture a hub and spoke diagram. At the hub is our seminary center. This is where the central administration would work, where the core of our curriculum would be developed, and where the distance learning component would be based. Radiating out from the hub are what we call Houses of Studies. The plan calls for regional Houses of Studies, convenient to each NALC mission district, providing theological education near to students and making faculty available for theological education in local congregations. And we are hoping to develop international partnerships with existing seminaries around the world, for example, in Ethiopia and Tanzania. Initially, the Seminary Center will be located in Ambridge, Pennsylvania, on the campus of Trinity School for Ministry, an accredited Anglican seminary. Trinity shares our commitment to the truth and authority of God's Word, and we have a common focus on mission and discipleship. Along with a beautiful campus, they have an established theological library and excellent distance learning facilities. Our first House of Studies will be established in Charlotte, North Carolina, at the Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary, where we now have a Department of Lutheran Studies. The planned seminary experience is described as flexible, innovative, and integrative. Seminarians will be encouraged to reside at the Seminary Center or Houses of Studies for the immersive seminary experience. But because that's not always possible, the curriculum will also be available through online distance learning. Seminarians may take much of the coursework at home and then travel to the seminary center or houses of studies for short, intense learning experiences. It makes for a much better educational experience so that it will be online, yes, but it will also incorporate face-to-face -face time with the professor and the other students as well. In keeping with the NALC's lean philosophy, the North American Lutheran Seminary staff will be compact. A seminary governing board will be appointed with a bishop as an ex officio member. Working at the seminary center will be the seminary director and a secretary registrar. 
At each of the Houses of Studies, a House of Studies director will manage the local program. The plan for faculty is that our seminary center and Houses of Studies will work in partnership with existing Orthodox seminaries. As such, we will take advantage of compatible coursework currently taught by faculty at the host sites. But for certain subjects, we will employ full-time or part-time faculty to round out our own confessional Lutheran curriculum. This teaching staff will vary depending on student enrollment and the particular needs of the seminary center or houses of studies. Funding for the seminary center and houses of studies will come from multiple sources, tuition, NALC's funding, and from congregations and individuals through endowments, bequests, and donations. When we ask the question, where will our pastors come from for the future, we must turn that question back on ourselves and confess our responsibility to raise up leaders from our congregations who are open to Christ's call to serve in word and sacrament ministry. And we must provide them with the educational experience that ensures their competence and confidence to faithfully lead our congregations in word and sacrament ministry. The unique thing about this seminary plan is that rather than investing in bricks and mortar, we can make an investment in people. We'll be making an investment in faithful, distinguished faculty. We'll be making an investment in our students who will receive faithful teaching, the chance to grow and mature, and fully develop their leadership capacity. And we'll be making an investment in our congregations to provide pastors and leaders who will faithfully proclaim the confessional Lutheran witness to the gospel of Jesus Christ for the sake of future generations. It is my prayer that you will join me in supporting this most important endeavor.